This short but important video was captured over Nashville, Tennessee on December 20th, 2019. The three jet aircraft visible in this film footage are C-17 Globemasters. The only entities that possess these aircraft, C-17s, are military. What you see occurring in this video are U.S. military cargo tanker aircraft dispersing materials into the atmosphere. We're officially told by government agencies and by the entire science community that climate engineering operations are only a proposal. We are told that if climate engineering, geoengineering, solar radiation management programs were to be deployed as a last ditch measure against the unfolding climate collapse, that it would be done with jet aircraft that would spray tens of millions of tons of reflective, toxic, heavy metal and polymer particulates into the atmosphere annually. We're told this atmospheric spraying, if it were to be deployed, would look exactly like what we are already seeing in our skies. Yet, we are told that what we are seeing, we are not really seeing. How long has the U.S. government been experimenting with and developing methods to spray particulates into the skies? For nearly 100 years, as this patent for artificial cloud creation from the 1920s reveals, and as the nearly 100-year-old biplane spraying demonstration makes clear. Even now, as our skies are so often crisscrossed with lingering, expanding emissions from jet aircraft geoengineering dispersions, sometimes covering the entire horizon, we're emphatically told by all official sources that climate engineering operations are, as stated earlier, only a proposal and that anyone who says otherwise is a, quote, conspiracy theorist. Question. What are we to believe? The official lies pushed on us by an ever more desperate power structure or what we can see with our own eyes? The ongoing global climate engineering solar radiation management operations are nothing short of weather and biological warfare against completely unsuspecting populations all over the world. We are told geoengineering programs are our last hope to slow down the unfolding climate collapse. But after over 70 years of the covert climate engineering onslaught, all available data makes clear that man's attempt to play God with Earth's climate and life support systems is, in reality, further fueling the climate collapse overall, not mitigating it. The climate engineering atrocities are the greatest and most immediate threat we collectively face, short of nuclear cataclysm. All of us are needed in the critical battle to expose and halt the climate engineering insanity. Make your voice heard, share credible data from a credible source, make every day count. This is Dane Wigginton from geoengineeringwatch.org.